Use your own VPS and keep it online 24-7 for free. We will host a Discord bot with Node.js and keep it online using PM2. The only costs are electricity costs. According to a few sources, the cost is around 4 to $5 per year for the Model 3B at high CPU load. The prerequisites are that you must have SSH enabled on Raspberry Pi. It must also be connected to the internet and a Node.js bot or application must already be on the system. Anyways, let's begin. Okay, make sure you get the IPv4 address on the Raspberry Pi by typing hostname-i in a Raspberry Pi terminal. Then we're going to go on Windows and open CMD to connect to it. Okay, so now we're going to type SSH Pi at our hostname. So Pi is the username and the actual other bit is the hostname IPv4 of the Raspberry Pi. Yes. And the password by default is Raspberry for Raspberry Pi because we have the default setup. There we go. Okay, so to install Node.js of our desired version, we want to type curl, which means send a request, sl https deb for debian node source dot com slash setup underscore 14.x. So 14 is our version that we want to install. Now, this URL is actually a script of predefined bash commands that we're going to execute within here. We're going to type vertical pipe, which means we want to pipe the command output into this command. So sudo xargs. xargs means convert the command output from this command into command line arguments. Okay, then we type dash n1, dash p8, which are arguments, and then we type sh to run this as a shell command. Okay, so now we are going to type sudo apt-get, as it, this suggests, install, dash y, node.js. And now it should install node.js version 14, which we did specify. Okay, so I have a very basic bot here. And we're going to keep it online 24-7. So it's actually in a folder called app on the desktop. It's called bot.js. And it has the discord.js pre-installed. Okay, so we're going to install sudo superuser do. For some reason it needs sudo to install. npm i-g pm2. Okay, so now we can literally type pm2 start bot.js, which is the name of our starting file, and now we can, it shows us so how much memory it is actually using. Status online, that's what we'd like to see. Okay, so we type pm2 save, and what this will do is it will save the command to start the bot in a file, and what this save file will allow us to do is type pm2 res or rect, and basically that will automatically start all the bots or applications saved in that file. So if we want to stop the app for whatever reason, maybe an update or whatever, pm2 stop bot, the name or the ID. And now we type hi, bot is offline. Okay, so make sure this configuration is pm2 saved. And now we're going to sudo reboot. And the plan is our bot should be online. Okay, so we're back in SSH, and as you can see, PM2 bot is online. Now we can type hi again, and the bot replies with hi. So there we go. So, assuming your power stays online 24-7 to the Raspberry Pi, so will your bot. Thank you so much for getting to this point. Hopefully you have saved a lot of money by following this video. My server costs have gone down by $175 after using this video. Hopefully you have saved some money too. Anyways, comment down below what tutorials you'd like to see next. Thank you for watching.